Public schools in Fairfax County, Virginia, are preparing to include gender identity in its curriculum for grades 7 through 12. The family life education lessons will include teachings on heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, and transgender identity. Andrea Lafferty of Traditional Values Coalition joins us from our Washington Bureau to talk more about this controversial subject. Andrea, thanks for joining us. It's great to be with you. Thank you. First of all, tell us about this curriculum and the motivation behind it. Well, it's interesting. Um, the school board voted uh, earlier in May to add gender identity. It's not a part of the state law. It's not a part of the uh, state school board instruction, but they've decided to add it against the will of many of the parents. And so now what we're dealing with is a vote on the family life education. Now, while we're talking specifically about Fairfax, I think it's important for people to understand this is happening across the country. So I may talk about Virginia, but listen carefully for your own community. Wow. Well, how will this curriculum impact the students? Well, it's very interesting. Right now, what will happen is, starting in kindergarten, they'll talk to them about same-sex or gay marriage. Um, and the, the parents will not be able to opt out. The big, one of the big issues is, in Virginia, parents can opt their children out of certain parts of the, quote, family life education. And so now what they're doing is they're trying to move parts of it from FLE, family life education, to health which means the parents cannot opt their children out. And so we've been poring over the regulations and the information to see exactly what's happening. But we are very, very concerned that they are doing it here in Fairfax County and perhaps other places without the parents' knowledge or consent. In eighth grade, they will be discussing, let me just say, Bill Clinton's activity along with oral and anal. Um, in eighth grade, and most people, and, that, and they've lowered it from ninth grade, or teaching fourth graders about the word incest. How far does that go? What, what is the difference between sexual orientation and, uh, sexual, uh, and gender identity? Well, the difference between sexual orientation and gender identity is sexual orientation is who you have sex with and how you have sex. Gender identity is who you are, male, female, are you born male or female? Are you born nothing? And they want to break down those definitions so you're no longer male or female as God created us. You're one of 52, quote, genders or one of 100 and something genders, depending on who you talk to. It is not clear and it is not a part of our normal cultural discussion. I don't even think it's a part of discussion in France or other European countries. Uh, it, it, it's just bizarre. And they... Again, they want to force this on the kids in Fairfax County when, in fact, it's not a part of the SOLs or the required education. What's been the reaction from parents and what can parents do? Well, in Fairfax County, it was interesting because the night of the vote on gender identity, they, the police, they hired a special police force, security, they actually locked 200 parents out so they couldn't get in, um, even though there was standing room in the back. Parents need to be very engaged. Parents need to know what is going on in their local communities. Read anything that's passed. Find out what they're teaching your kids under the guise of health, under the guise of PE or social studies or biology or family life. Um, we're seeing just an onslaught. This thing is snowballing. And so we would just encourage you to protect your children and know what they're being taught. Has the Obama administration played any role in encouraging public schools to adopt this sort of curriculum? Well, that is another very good question. Actually, encourage isn't maybe the word. Um, blackmail or force. Here in Fairfax County, we were told that the Office of Civil Rights um, at Department of Education and Department of Justice would see to it that our federal tax dollars were pulled if, if gender identity wasn't added. What that means is those monies that are meant to help educate and provide for under um, poor children, children that may be going without meals, that funding would be taken. So here we hear all this outcry about Republicans are, you know, not looking out for kids when in fact, when the president and his allies want to push this, this gender identity agenda, they don't care about poor children. Andrea Lafferty, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. We really appreciate you joining us. Thank you.